Uploading and downloading is all fine and good, but sometimes you need to do more maintenance on the data in your buckets. Today on Cloud Storage Bytes, we're going to dig into object management, so stick around. No matter how you get your data into Google Cloud Storage, once it's there, it's manageable, meaning easy to manage. Just how easy? Easy as one, two, three. Let's talk about lists. You see what I did there? Anytime you want to do something with the objects in your bucket, it helps to know what's there. Starting with a list will get you the inventory you need of all of those 11,723 data objects you've got. But if you've somehow got that memorized, feel free to skip ahead. As we talked about when getting data in, there are two main options for interacting with your cloud storage, command line GSUtil and the cloud console. Spoiler alert, this is going to be true for a while. So listing the contents of a bucket with GSUtil, you'll get a nice structured response, making it easy to see what you've got and where. And of course, the Cloud Console offers a convenient visual interface with dropdowns and buttons for looking at all of your files and directories. So now that we know what's in your bucket, let's talk changes. Rename an object with a few specific steps. Copy the object, making another instance of it either in the current bucket or in any other bucket. Move the object into a new bucket. And for a more permanent change, you can always delete an object, removing it from the bucket and, effectively, from your cloud storage. The command line utility was designed to be as easy to remember and as easy to navigate as the Cloud Console. So these commands might even look familiar to you if you're used to working in the command terminal. No matter how you work with it, Google Cloud Storage is going to give you the flexibility you need to create the perfect solution for your needs. Now, there's plenty more that you can do with your data in Google Cloud Storage, but that's for another episode. Subscribe, give us a like, and let us know what features of Cloud Storage you want to learn more about. Thanks for joining us for this quick bite of Google Cloud Storage. See you next time.